Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on finding derivative of a complicated, not quite an equation, completed expression. Now, finding derivative is actually one of my favorite things. Now, you think being a math doctor, I always liked math. No, to the contrary. I used to struggle in math and I really hate it. But one day the light bulb just switched on. Anyway, that was off topic. So what we have to do over here is obviously is a quotient. Quotient rule is not hard, but it's messy. Okay, so the thing, the thing you really have to get in your head before you start it is keep it simple. I don't want to say keep it simple stupid, but that's not the point. So keep it simple. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take derivative of the top, the top neighbor, which is 4. We're going to leave the second one alone, which is 2x squared plus 1, the whole thing squared. Let's move this one into a square bracket so it looks a little prettier. And then here's what we're going to do. The second part is a little messy, but it doesn't have to be hard. Okay? You're going to leave the first part alone, which is the 4x. Then you're going to take a derivative of the second one on the bottom, which you're going to have to use power rule first. So it's 2 times 2x squared plus 1. Okay, so basically, I'm taking derivative of this thing. Okay, so that's what I'm doing over here. I'm going to use power rule first. So two come in the front, and this become one, and then multiply derivative of this chunk because this chunk is not quote unquote clean or kosher. Maybe think of that way. My husband is Jewish, so the word kosher just popped in my head. All that derivative of the two x squared is 4x. Phew, that's all you have to do. It's long, it's tedious, but it's not hard. Okay, and then, then you're going to do the bottom one, leave it alone, and be nice. You're going to square it. Okay, now the cleaning part is the hardest one, actually. So, my advice, if I may, on the test, if you're running out of time, leave this messy thing right over there. Okay, the worst thing your teacher can do is take a point or two off because technically you haven't written anything wrong. Yeah, you didn't simplify it, but you know what? There's nothing wrong. Okay. Now, if you do have time, you want to simplify it. And here's the thing: slow down. You gotta slow down because once you make a mistake, kind of like a dating. Once you make a mistake, it's really hard to go back and fix the right. So first thing I'm gonna do is I spotted there's a common factor. I'm gonna pull it out. Two x squared plus one. Then. First one left, it was 4 times 2x squared plus 1, because I had a square over here. Okay. Minus, let's see, uh, 4 times 2 times 4 again is 32, and I have x squared left. All the way to 2x squared plus 1 to the fourth. Okay, it's starting to look a little better, because I can cancel this one, make it this 3. And then on the top, I have 8x squared plus 4 minus 32x squared, which is not too bad looking. Now 2x squared plus 1 cubed on the bottom. Okay, And then this equal to, let's hopefully I don't subtract around, 32 minus 8 is 24. Okay, So I have 24 and a positive 4. Let's leave the positive term in the front. Minus 24, ah, 24. Let's see if I can squeeze the 4 in there. My apology, it doesn't look terribly cute. Uh, 24x squared over 2x squared plus 1, the whole thing cubed. All right, so it's not too bad. And once again, like I said, slow down. And if you run out of time, stop right over here. Don't bother to simplify it, so at least you don't show your teacher anything wrong. And those last three steps take a lot more time, and the chance of you getting wrong is higher. All right, hope this helps and I hope it's clear. Leave a comment on YouTube for me and let me know how you liked it or if it helped you at all. Until next time, have a confident day.